Hi all, welcome back. It's Chris and Ellen. We're playing How to Fool Boyfriend. Uh, hi to Fool Boyfriend. Hi, hat, <laughs> terrible uh, hat of Fool Boyfriend. Ah, mm -hmm. so do you know where the name of this comes from? No. Okay, it's actually kind of a pun. Okay. Uh, because hat to fool in Japanese kind of means bird or pigeon. Right. Um, but it's also very similar to the word boyfriend. Ah. So it's yeah. Boyfriend, boyfriend. Yeah, ah. or pigeon boyfriend. Pigeon boyfriend. Yeah, so it's that's where the the joke comes from. Uh -huh. so. Are there more exotic birds that we're going to meet? Because I love flamingos and owls. So today's an elective day. What should I do? Attend math class, gym class, music class. Well, I well you're pretty fucking dumb. <laughs> like. I'm not saying this to uh, uh, change the gameplay. I'm just uh, insulting you, Chris. Sure, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, well, let's, let's, I don't know. Sometimes in these games, it encourages you to just kind of like do a one dump stat. Like yeah. just like put everything in one thing. I guess Other it times it encourages you to balance it. I guess it depends on what kind of like character you want to be. This is also a dating sim. So yeah. a lot of dating sims kind of... Uh, mean that you want to kind of manipulate your stats to fit whoever you might want to date. Yeah. Um, but it's up to you. Well, that's true. I do seem to be getting along with my friend mm. and Library Bird. <laughs> and Library Bird is a smart bird, so maybe I'll be up to math You'll class. You'll be smart? Mm. Yeah. To appeal to his, like... Dating inte sims. Intellectual. Teaching you to change yourself for boys forever. I'm not smart. <laughs> I'm not getting this at all. <laughs> Hmm, maybe you should review the basics a little more, Bond. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh... <laughs> no acting required. What was that noise? I don't know. Cri uh, oh, I leveled oh, up. Oh, you leveled up. Yay. My wisdom increased by five. So That's now you've got six. <laughs> I'm smarter. <laughs> uh, I imagine you're all well aware, but... The sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival season. Sports festival season? <laughs> Already? <laughs> if it were the fall, if it were in the fall, it would conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. That Chris, is, didn't that, you know that? Well, Rioter, that is really good community planning, and I respect <laughs> that a lot. What are you going to do, Rioter? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Somebody has to... No, they don't. Uh, no, they don't. Don't so shit on his decision. <laughs> <laughs> Okasan will handle the marathon. Indeed, he will. I do like that <laughs> Okasan doesn't talk and just screams <laughs> yeah. in, in pigeon. Yeah, you have to... You Everyone understands what Okasan uh, uh, means. Saying, but, yeah. <laughs> you... Oh, you do have a lot of stamina. Oh. Uh, what about you, Sequoia? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? No. <laughs> Turning a bit Tim Curry. Uh, it's a sports <laughs> festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? <laughs> Making my butler run for me. <laughs> How about being a cheerleader? Hey. Well, that's a nice idea. The general, in other words... Very well. Leave it to me. <laughs> Sequoia as a chill. See, now I, now I think Sequoia might be cute. Yeah? Uh, Do you think you can change him? Yes. <laughs> yes. Aggressively, yes. Uh, I don't think that's what a cheerleader is. Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, so I'm sure they could use help if anybody still can't decide. Don't put me in charge of that. That's all for today. Yeah, especially because you're a human. <laughs> so yeah, like... but also I'm an idiot. <laughs> so. A human idiot. Is there anything worse? Uh, so, uh, right, uh, Root is doing three-legged race. Three -legged race. Okay. Osha san is running the marathon. And Sequoia is a cheerleader. Ooh. Yuma might be... Yuya. Yuya He's the one you were kind of crushing might on, Might be right? running the first eight ten. What should I do? I'll have to think about it. Okay. Uh, so who do you want to spend time with, essentially? So there's a sports festival. Fuck. I didn't even make up my mind. I just clicked. <laughs> I didn't. I just, came, I, I I just, just clicked. I just clicked away. <laughs> clicked my wife, life <laughs> like away. Clicky, of, click, click, click. I like the idea of Chris just walking up and being like, <laughs> like walking directly to the sports center and being like, oh, shit. <laughs> what should I do? Uh, go to the uh, three-legged rest library. <laughs> 
<laughs> just skip out on the festival altogether. Well, you I, could. I could. It's an option. Mm. Mm. You could be a you know sad little nerd kid sitting in the library I, avoiding the. Uh, I'm not smart enough to be a sad little nerd kid. <laughs> But how do you think you get to be a sad little nerd kid? I don't know. I'm not smart <laughs> enough. If only I knew. <laughs> Where would I find those answers? How do I get smarter? I'm so going to do the three-legged race. Yeah. So you're going to hang out with Ryuta. Yeah, I'm going to hang out with Ryuta. Oh, are you joining us? I shouldn't have picked the bird that run I, don't, together? I don't pronounce the word <laughs> well. I haven't found a partner yet. Okay. Yeah. Get set. Go! Run, 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 run. Uh, Ryota's is running for both of us. Pairing up with uh, a bird, had a bird and, and a primate, primate might have been a bad idea. <laughs> we somehow came in second anyway, though. We have brought honor to our class. <laughs> Fuck yes, honor! <laughs> uh, there you go. The first barrier for all students who make it this far the midterm exam. No, oh, exam shit. time already? Oh, oh man. no. Oh, man. I'm sorry. I did that <laughs> stupid music class. <laughs> The arts is stupid and it will damn you for the rest of your life. Damn right. Take heed, everyone. It doesn't teach you basic mathematics anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. If you did music class, surely you'd be better at math. You, you'd think so. Uh, uh, I guess getting, you're just that fucking dumb. Maybe I just play triangle <laughs> oh, uh, in the back. Also, it seems like bird music class is a bit more focused on... Group singing? On singing, yeah. Yes, so yeah. You, as we all know, singers are dumb and don't know music theory. <laughs> they expect the band to move around them. <laughs> I'm a singer, and yes, this is true. <laughs> uh, I play a mu musical instrument, and yes, that's true. Yeah, everyone fucking hates singers because yeah. they just rock up and they're like, everyone... Well, My instrument's warm. Yep. I'm ready to go. Yep, and I can, I can, you know, change everyone's, like, rhythm to yep. suit me. Yep. The most important part. That's right. The human... <laughs> The, As the, opposed to the birds, the birds. playing <laughs> instruments. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you're a human too. It's, so. it's Ellen and the birds. <laughs> <laughs> you just like bow, 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 you walk up to like a pub and now you've got like four birds in a carry case. Put them on a stage. Okay. I wouldn't actually be, I mean, I would be mad if the birds were in a cage, but like a bird choir. Okay. Well, this is getting that. away. This is getting away from Okay. You. All right. Well, <laughs> you we're got getting, your exam. Yeah. We're getting back to them today. Uh, I didn't think I, oh, uh, we're getting them back today. I don't think I did too well. Um, Bond? Uh-oh. Yes? Hmm. I don't think you did too badly. Oh, that's good. Yes. Not too, mm, nope. Sorry, you did badly. <laughs> my head literally <laughs> dropped. Like I was looking at the screen and then my head just dropped no. like a little, uh, like an inch. <laughs> oh. <No>. That <laughs> perfectly sums it up. That's All so, lowercase. so sad. <laughs> Try harder next time, okay? Okay. Oh no, you I disappointed, disappointed Mr. Nanaki. Nanaki. I forgot his name as well. I'm an oh, idiot. Oh, man. You just <laughs> made so much disrespect to him. I did bring honour to the school by not participating in a three-legged race and watching my friend just run the track. <laughs> Do you think that while Ryuta was, like, running, you were just being dragged behind him? No, no, they wouldn't. The no, I was just, like... Watching at the side. Oh. There's a bunch of birds. Am I an idiot? Yes, <laughs> you are. No, but like, is all this happening in like a, a, a bad brained person and then just like watching birds and being like, I'm going to bird school. <laughs> and everyone's like, It is. Well, uh, one of the things that keeps it, coming up is why you were admitted to St. Pigeon Nations. Okay. Because it is like an exclusive school for birds, birds and okay. like for very high achieving birds. Okay. Um, but anyway, okay. I, know, I guess you just. Got so much stamina. <laughs> it, am I a low achieving human? <laughs> I'm equal to high achieving birds. Maybe. Uh, I'll have to study more from now on. <laughs> you know what? If you find someone who truly loves you, you don't have to be smart. True. With the festival and the midterms over, there's nothing to look forward to but the summer heat. Eh, I don't mind the summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny <laughs> when it gets humid like this. Oh, mm. That's kind of racist. I yeah, I don't go around sniffing birds. Uh, huh. There's <laughs> Chris a, Bond does. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there's a bunch of birds in front of the staff room. What are they doing? Ah, there's Yuya. Ah, oh, I've forgotten my voice. Yuya, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, salutations, Chris. Brian run hi won his seventh Pulitzer. <laughs> Excuse me? He gestures at a news clipping on, on the, the staff, staff room pinboard. Board. It says Brian, the intellig the <laughs> first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Oh, that's right. Brian? 
Okay, don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds were barely intelligent. <laughs> so this is like one of the first intelligent species of bird. Ellen. Yes. That's a picture. Yeah. That's just a photo. No, that's... Yeah, of Brian. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like you don't get this game at all, Chris. <laughs> That's just, more, that's just more pictures of birds. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He was the one who suggested that the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. <laughs> Good one, Brian. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Is it Pidgey Olympics? Pidge Olympics. Okay. Why don't you look him up right now, mon ami? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. I'm do literally it. Do going it. to Google do that. Google Brian Pigeon. <laughs> okay, hold on while so, I Google Brian Pigeon. Um, one of the things that, while you do that, I'm going to tell people, the way I first found out about this game was a playthrough by uh, Angie Gallant, who is fucking amazing, and she had this whole blog thing about basically she was sick, so she was going to stay home and play this game. And her blogging about this game is, like, one of the funniest things I've ever read. Like, she did kind of the, the demo game first, and then she went through and did the whole thing. And I was, like, gripped. I was like, oh, oh my God. I, I read, like, 40 or 50 pages of this blog in probably a day because I was just like, not only is this game wacky, like wackadoo and funny as shit and weird and kind of wonderful at the same time, her writing about it and her reactions were just like, Mwah, like the icing on the cake. Uh, okay, there's a blog. Brian Pigeon? Yeah. Yeah. He won a Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> I don't know if I can comment below. I don't want to read comments because I'm worried that there'll be spoilers. Spoilers for the game. Uh, yeah. Uh... I don't think there is. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll just put it away. But just so you know, it is true. <laughs> okay. Okay. They, this, these game developers have put like a lot of thought and like yeah. fun and heart into this game. Okay. <laughs> Uh-oh. Lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Chris. This voice is turning too much into you to fuck. It's all right. That's okay. Uh. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Today is a good day. I feel like I'm shining. You know what I feel like we should do? Leave it on a leave it on a good day. Okay. Yeah. It's a good day. You feel like you're shining. Actually, this is a good point. You can go look up the the yes, Brian Yes, Brian the pigeon. pigeon. Please do because it is uh, wonderful. Uh, avoid the spoilers if you don't know what the spoilers are. I don't know if there are any, but I don't know. I don't think there are. You should be safe to check it out. But okay, also cool. play this game. Yeah. Dang this, it. This is fun. I'm having a good time. All right. Uh, All right, catch you on the flip side. Cap uh, see ya, wings. <laughs> Guess we're going to have to wing it. Uh, oh, that was bye. Yep, yeah, bye. <laughs>